Hi, everybody. Sure hope you're having a great Saturday so far. Cloudy and muggy this morning, but a nice morning to get out and get some yard work done. Been doing some mulching and some weeding myself this morning. We've had some hit miss sunshine, and the heat and humidity are going to continue to build, plus those showers and thunderstorms are already starting to fire around the area, and that's going to be the story for the afternoon. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has us under a level one risk for some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms, mainly across the Tennessee-Kentucky border. That's where we have the greatest energy in the atmosphere, but we've already seen some showers and thunderstorms. That's going to be the story. We'll see those sh showers and storms coming in from the south and west throughout the day today. Not everybody's going to get the rain, but if you do get in on the rain, you're likely to get a good, solid, quick little downpour. So keep that in mind. Generally speaking, most of us will likely stay on the drier side throughout the day. Today, and you can see that with our future cast rainfall accumulations. Again, pockets of half an inch to maybe upwards of an inch can't be ruled out. And again, some of those storms could become stronger across the Tennessee-Kentucky border. Hot and muggy, though. Temperatures topping out in the upper 80s to low 90s. Heat index values mid to upper 90s. And we just don't lose a lot of heat as we get into the evening hours. Still hanging on to about 85 degrees by 8. But I don't think we'll have a lot of thunderstorm activity as we get closer to sundown and shortly thereafter. Overnight tonight, uh, the winds is going to continue to stay out of the southwest. We've got a cold front swinging its way in through the area. Could have a few scattered showers as we get started on our Sunday morning. So something to kind of keep in mind. But I think the bulk of the energy comes through with the cold front for the second part of our day. So as we look ahead on our Sunday, we do have that elevated risk, a level one risk by the Storm Prediction Center for isolated strong to severe thunderstorms. So here's how that plays out. As we start our Sunday, maybe a couple of scattered showers shouldn't be uh, that big of a deal. Uh, as we get past the lunch hour, that's when the showers and thunderstorms will start to fire up. As the leading edge of the cold front comes on through, that's what's going to spark off those showers and thunderstorms. And again, the eastern half of East Tennessee could see isolated strong to severe storms. And then the winds shift to the north and some very Pleasant weather settles on in for our Monday. That's going to be the best day, the highlight day over the next seven days. Again, I don't necessarily think that everyone's going to have rain here this weekend, unfortunately, because we desperately need it. But if you do get some rain, I do anticipate some solid downpours. Looking ahead, though, uh, as we get into the next several days, we are talking about that drier air to swing its way on through. So overnight lows tonight drop down into the 70s. Throughout our Sunday afternoon, we'll see those temperatures climb into the upper 80s, back into the low 90s. So it is going to be another hot and muggy day around East Tennessee, maybe even the mid-90s across the uh, southern portions of the area. But as the cold front swings off to our southeast, here's that pocket of drier air that settles its way on in, at which point it will shut down those heat index values. So let's talk about that because dew points are going to be elevated through the day on Sunday. They drop on Monday, and then those dew points climb next week. So it is going to be a very uh, rather hot and muggy week next week as we celebrate the 4th of July. So hot and muggy throughout the day today, heat index values mid to upper 90s. We'll do it again tomorrow, but notice the heat index value shut off to our north. That swings its way into our area on Monday. So pleasant, cooler, maybe right around average for our Monday afternoon, if not slightly below average, uh, and no heat index values expected. But that quickly changes as we get into our Tuesday, Wednesday, 4th of July. More showers and thunderstorms possible during the afternoon, but heat index values pushing close to 100 degrees. And we'll continue that trend on into our Friday of next week. All right, let's talk of rain chances here for a second because uh, those rain chances will shut down Monday, Tuesday, and then we'll see uh, afternoon showers and thunderstorms building up Thursday and Friday. So Mother Nature's like, hey, I want to get it on this uh, 4th of July celebrations, and she typically does most years. Uh, broad brushing the rainfall forecast over the next seven days, we're looking at the possibility of about a half an inch of rainfall in general. Some of you might get a little bit more than that, especially if you get some good solid downpours. Other than that, I think generally speaking, about a half an inch. So we desperately need the rain. And the Climate Prediction Center is talking about the possibility of a rapid onset of drought conditions here in the southeastern U.S. Cool, comfortable on Monday, warm and muggy, hot and muggy, I should say, as we get into the middle and latter part of next week. Low temperatures, Tuesday morning is going to be the most comfortable morning, and then those morning lows draw warm back into the low to mid-70s. And as I mentioned, the Climate Prediction Center is still predicting the possibility of above-average temperatures all the way through the first two weeks of July, and the possibility of average to maybe even slightly below average when it comes to precipitation. So we'll see how that all plays out. Make sure you track the showers and thunderstorms today, the possibility of severe weather tomorrow with the East Tennessee Weather app. You get all push notifications from the National Weather Service when they issue watches and warnings. Uh, you'll get push notifications when storms are approaching or lightning is within 15 miles. Plus, you can get all your weather updates, your daily forecast, one minute with Witcher, and access to the only 24-hour weather channel right here in East Tennessee. So we sure hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Thanks for checking in with your afternoon update. Another update coming up at 5 and again 9 o'clock here tonight. And we'll keep you posted on how things all evolve over the next couple of days. Well, and of course, every single day. See you back here soon.